Hi, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and today I'm really excited about talking about what is BI and how can your organization use it. So I got a whiteboard here, and I thought I'd draw just a quick drawing about how all these parts, moving parts from Microsoft, all kind of interact. So let's start with an e-commerce system. Let's say, for example, you have a website right here, and this is your e-com system, and he's, he is taking orders all day long. But on top of that, you have an inventory system up here. This may be in DB2, can be in Oracle, could be whatever. So this is your inventory system. And you may also have some kind of HR system down here. Could be an Oracle, SQL Server, whatever. And we have right now to run a report against this, we have to go and collect data from all these various components. And it takes a long time. We have some customers where it takes days and days and days to produce a report because they have to go to all these separate systems to design that report. So what business intelligence is going to do for you is it gives you better, better insight and actionable insight into your data. So let's take this a little bit step further. A data warehouse, if we strategically put a data warehouse right here, and we feed that data warehouse from all these systems, now we have one place for our users to get this data from. So these lines that you're seeing going into this, in the Microsoft stack, these lines are SSIS, SQL Server Integration Services. It moves data from whatever system that you have here into a central data warehouse. And that data warehouse's job is to make it easy to report against. Now these reports that you see are SSRS, our reporting services. So, so far we have two components of the, of the full 3BI three, three stack components that Microsoft offers. However, this data warehouse gets larger over time, so big that it becomes a monster to report against and your queries become slower and slower. And you may have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reports that you have. So the way we solve that problem is by creating a cube. And this cube is called Analysis Services or SSAS for short. This line that you see here is processing the data. It's taking data out of the data warehouse and loading it to that cube. And what we can then do is feed reports against that cube. Now by doing that, users can get their own data out on demand. So if they can open up Excel, for example, SharePoint, for example, or even reporting services. So we can have uh, these lines here. It could be Excel. It could be SharePoint. Let's call it MOS for short, or it can also be reporting services. Now, reporting against this cube alleviates this line here. Potentially, you may still keep that line. It makes it much, much faster to get your data, and your users can generate their own reports versus create a huge IT backlog. That's what business intelligence is to Microsoft. It's a stack of integration services to move your data, reporting services to report against it, and analysis services to cube your data. Hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any questions, please email us at webinars at pragmaticworks.com.